guess there are. There's ramifications? What ramifications? Well, it would have an impact on the Inquisition game. Yeah, oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that'd kind of suck if they didn't. This no, I know. Kind of a but dead like, end project. Decisions that, that's that's that, everything that, goes in. Yeah, not yeah. everything goes in. Yeah, but yeah no, not everything. Does. Yes. Yeah. Karen yeah. said something like 200 yeah. were used currently. Well, okay. As of PAX Prime, according to Karen, who is, what's her title? Karen Weeks, she's a senior editor? Yeah, senior senior editor, editor, yes. Editor. She said there was about 200 that were being used. So a startling amount of them are actually relevant. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah. and the, the consequence of those will obviously vary. Some are yes. very small, Far some reaching much larger. And impressive. Yeah, yeah. So, so the writers and designers can use those pretty much yes. any way they want once they're in. Mm-hmm. Um, don't freak out over that, though, <laughs> because with multiple world states, the beauty of that is that you can make whatever decisions you want in your individual world states, and you can import them into Inquisition yep. and see mm-hmm. what how it turns out. So when you obviously kill Alistair, yes. he <sighs> can be time. dead forever, and we'll, we'll respect that. Uh, oh, yeah, but what about the other Alistair decisions? There is he not. Dies He's in dead. This too. Oh, my goodness. He always dies. He's dead. <sighs> I'm I'm glad I'm sitting He's in dead. between both of you right yeah. now. Dead and or <laughs> um, Good job, guys. Is the keep going to be used to fully customize our story and game experiences for future Dragon Age titles? It's definitely a possibility. Yeah. Um, you know, it's because you know the keep is all the choices in the keep don't have an impact on Inquisition, but you never know, they could in future titles. So definitely that would be something that we would look at if we um, were to introduce future Dragon Age games into the series. And Mm -hmm. maybe, hopefully, the keep may be, you know, sort of a starting point if you're looking to expand your Dragon Age universe. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Um, will we have more forum polls? I think you guys mentioned this about um, which additional plots are important to be added. Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. The answer to that is yes. Is there a way to download the ISS video for personal use in future? Not that I'm aware of. Um, no. There's there's no way of doing it. I mean, it's your screen. You could always take a potato and or a camera, sorry, and take a potato <laughs> video of it, but. Oh, what kind of technology? <laughs> <laughs> Cutting edge. It's a talk. Friday. Yeah. 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 Potato. <laughs> potato. Potato camera. Yeah. Eh. Potato camera. That's what I was getting at. Is it looks like you took it from a potato when you take a screenshot from. Just let's next question. Yeah. yeah. Next question. Uh, my Xbox One doesn't like uh, the university Wi-Fi. Will I be able to import with Wi-Fi only on my laptop, or does my Xbox need to be connected? Xbox needs to be connected. Yeah. But um, it only so needs to be connected, I think, while you yeah. are importing. Yeah. And during then the character creation. So during the character creation. Yeah. I thought there was a way that you could like tether your PC yes. or something. Yeah. You, yeah. Could, phone, you could tether, tether to, phone. to yeah. your phone for like however, like mm-hmm. just the short span of time that you're creating it. And hopefully your cell phone provider is not a terrible monster. <laughs> and you should be able, you could do it that way. That would yeah. probably be the best way if your university Wi-Fi is giving you problems. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah. Uh, this is a, a really tricky question. Oh, good. Um, how did you all become so awesome and amazing? <laughs> um, We're not a... Mind we don't have regular maybe beating it's an hour. Regular oh, okay. beating. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's Maybelline. Yeah. <laughs> maybe I'm born with it. I don't know. I just am the way I am, and hopefully... Um, you people accept me for who I am. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't be here. So, <laughs> thank you. Yes. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I've I've been doing this for close to a decade. I, I love what I do. I love coming into it. So it's it's in that sense, it's easy. I don't know. Well, I said hi, I'm Justin, and then it looped about twenty times, That's and true. the yes. rest is basically Twitch history. Oh yeah, it sure is. Praise be to Justin. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag Just Inquisition. Right. Uh, will there be other voiceover languages in the ISS, like German, during the beta or after public release? Uh, ISS localization. I, I, I don't <laughs> know. I believe I'd... it's planned. I'm not sure exactly. Yeah, Do you know when it's coming in? I don't know it's, exactly. Uh, if it's coming in? Probably more of a Leah question. Yeah, Leah yeah. would probably be able to answer that best. I know we'll have French. 
Yes. We'll yeah, have French well, and yeah. German. Uh, it will be there for launch. I'm not sure how soon before that. Yeah. 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 I know we've got the code coming in. So, I mean, there's development, but whether or not it, when it makes it, it should be for launch. Yes. Yes. Probably sooner. Mm -hmm. not, Hopefully. Don't yeah. promise anything. No, I'm not promising anything. <laughs> I never make promises. Good. I'm untrustworthy. Um, can we expect to have more of the tapestry details reflected in the ISS? Oh, like, oh, okay, because uh, okay. people have been wondering, um, are there, like, their romance options going to be added to the ISS? No, the, the ISS was more of a quick summary to get you in. Yeah, so it's basically sort of a quick primer, and then after you've watched it, then you can go and mess with all the rest of the decisions mm -hmm. in the tapestry. Yeah, it's, it's not intended to show every single it's the choice. abridged mm -hmm. version. Yeah. Yes, yes. All right. Um, will I be missing out on anything uh, since I wasn't logged into Origin other than the appearance of my warden? Presumably that's while they were playing the, one of the previous games. Uh, Sinking is back. Mm. Uh, You'd miss out on the name of yeah, your warden. No. There's a lot. We're not using any of the other data, really. I guess your achievements? No, because you can get that now. So, mm -hmm. technically, if you still had your save game file, once you've once syncing is enabled, which syncing is currently disabled, mm -hmm. um, you would be able to load up your save game file, load the game, move your character around a bit, maybe jiggle it around. There's some guides on the forums. Hit save your game, and it'll upload, and then it'll be as if you always had it enabled. But for the most part, all you're going to lose is the name of your warden, and we are investigating possible solutions. Mm -hmm. But once again, I make no promises because yes, they scare me. <laughs> Last time I made a promise, we ended up with the YOLO button. Well, well that would also make you code it. Oh, hey, man. Yeah, hey. You only yeah. live once. Yep. That mm -hmm. turned out pretty well. It yeah. did. It's a fun it button. Did. Yeah. It's it a fun a button. Mm -hmm. Press um, that button. Will you designate which decisions options will be imported into the game? Hmm. So they're all imported. Which yes. ones affect the game? I don't think we're going to tell because that would be spoilers. No. Um, yeah, spoilers. Yeah, spoilers. Uh, and also it's it's on the game side. So that's something we could investigate if you wanted to really hassle Leah and at the at Dragon Age Keep. Oh, please don't. Um, <laughs> I don't have those I, answers, I, I suppose unfortunately. suppose if it was a feature request, but currently <laughs> there's no plan. Yeah. Uh, can you have Liliana and Morrigan romance simultaneously? In no. The no. No, unfortunately, no. the keep. Finish my question. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> sorry. Um, I've got an Origin account. Will I get an invitation? I lost my chance to log into the keep since the beta is already closed on me. Invitations are on their way. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. um, they, if you've. You can contact um, EA Help if you go to help.ea.com and they have a full section on Origin. If you contact them for help, they will definitely uh, give you a hand with anything Origin related that you've, if you've forgotten your account or you can't remember what it was and it's been lost into the ether, contact them. They'll be able to give you a hand with setting up your Origin. Um, unfortunately, at this time, you probably won't be receiving an invite. Um, but, of course, we're going to open beta in a few weeks. Yeah. so it'll Unless be you get a key. If someone Unless, gave you a key, yeah. Yeah, that, that could, could get you in. That could mm -hmm. be your golden ticket. I'm sorry. I really hope that was helpful. <laughs> you rambled for a bit, but eh, it's no. good. Yeah. Words are hard. Uh, will we be able to pause, skip, rewind, etc. in the ISS? Pause... Is it yes, skip, no, rewind, no, fast forward, no, um, <laughs> Subtitles? move around at all, no. Maybe later. Maybe, maybe later. Yeah, maybe later. Maybe yeah. later. Oh. We're looking into it. Don't worry. It's we know there's still a bunch of improvements. Under investigation. Mm -hmm. Yes. There's still a bunch of improvements to be made with the ISS, yeah. and we're working on that stuff. So we'll update you all when, when that happens. Uh, will you be able to make choices in DLC that you haven't played or purchased? Yes. Yes. Yes, you will. You won't. do not have to have purchased any of the Dragon Age games whatsoever to use the keep and make choices from it. So there's good news. If you're brand new to the Dragon Age universe, have at her. All right. 
Uh, how long will it take for the keep to sync with the game uh, if there's busy servers that launch, etc.? It's so in an ideal process, it takes about 400, no, 40 milliseconds um, with our current load. Um, if that slows down, it could get a little slower, but it's it's pretty quick. Yeah, it's, um, it's near instant. Yeah, as a well, 40 milliseconds. Yes, yeah. e even a few seconds. Would yeah, be it's I don't. Of course, there's always the possibility of catastrophic failure and lightning comes from the sky and buildings burn down, but barring that, everything's pretty quick. How's that for a footnote? <laughs> and if there are delays, um, we will let you know either through, you know, maintenance page or a little message like oh, we or have. Or the, there's a little bar on the yes, top of the, the page alert currently. Bar. Yeah. Yeah. Alert bars or the Twitter account. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very true. Yeah, so if there is a delay, don't worry about it. You'll know. And then you'll be able to plan it out and like, okay, I'll go use this later then maybe. And hopefully that should not be a problem. Mm -hmm. um, will Inquisition choices show up in the keep? They will. Eventually. Eventually. Eventually, yes. And they will be behind spoiler gates. So those Have we announced that yet? Is that did Renata just yeah, okay no, good we, I was yeah. hoping yeah. she said something she shouldn't <sighs> yeah. no that would have been funny oh that would not have been funny that would have been hilarious you would have seen me cry on camera um <laughs> no uh yeah no they will be there um they'll be behind spoiler gates so if you don't want to peek you just don't look um yeah so they'll be coming soon ish yeah eventually yes post launch uh can yeah. keep states become corrupted no. That's basically my job for the last eight months was <laughs> making sure that this really yeah. shouldn't happen. It, it, it is a constant war between Justin yes. and I. I keep trying to crush yeah. them and break them, and Justin keeps trying to prevent it and fix it so it can never, ever happen. Yes. So there's a lot of stuff preventing it from happening. There is layers of stuff. It theoretically could possibly happen but there's catches on every end and mm -hmm. bumpers and it's like when you're bowling and there's padding on everything it's um we're really really careful that yes. it should be safe and that's why we don't have things such as like letting you make choices a whole bunch of choices and then checking to see if it's okay on the keep it only lets you make valid choices and the keep is always in a valid state so we are really holding hands on that so super careful it should never happen ampersand maybe it will but not likely you know you could have just said and instead of ampersand it's a dramatic flair this is twitch the people need entertainment <laughs> all right um the keep is nice but why use the keep to import saves over a usual um i guess the traditional save file import there's a I don't know if you want to say or I was going to say. I could talk about there's it. A, there's a, there's a couple of reasons. There's mm -hmm. traditionally save imports. Uh, they have at errors. The keep being a web service, we can fix those after launch if we need to. Uh, some players have lost their save games, so this lets us recreate them. If you're changing platform, for instance, if you went from a PC to an Xbox 360 or something, your saves may not be available for any reason. Uh, there's, there's a few other reasons, but I mean, it, in the end, I think it is a better solution for a yeah. lot of players. Basically, we saw a need, and our visionary leader, Mr. Fernando, has mm -hmm. um, saw this as an opportunity mm -hmm. to deliver on a great experience. Um, so it was a opportunity to uh, use the vast technology of the internet to solve this problem, and it gave us a lot of flexibility, and it's already starting to show us a whole bunch of new ways we can handle things with the ISS, for example. Mm -hmm. Now we can have things on phones, we can share things, mm -hmm. we can take advantage of um, social media um, yep. this Twitter thing people talk about um, some sort of online video Twitch I don't know something like that I don't know, whatever um, lets us do internet. things like yeah. that yeah. <laughs> and it lets us hit a lot more platforms plus it also keeps me employed so mm -hmm. I'm a fan yes thank you for that uh, will we be able to use mobile apps anytime soon mobile guess, apps is there a, is there a keep app there's no <laughs> keep app. No, no keep that. It, it will work on your mobile device. Yes. Yeah, it's a website that will work on yeah. it. Yeah, there are currently no plans for a mobile app for keep, but it is optimized to work on mobile and tablets as well. So if you just use your phone's browser, mm -hmm. then you'll be able to access the keep. Yep. Is there any consequence if you friend Cullen or not? 
Uh, I don't. You'll have to find yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You'll have Crazy. to. Yeah. Okay. Only yeah. the future will tell. Yes, yes. Who knows what the future holds? Um, I know. Can we download our saves to a USB and plug them into our Xbox or PS3? No. No. Unfortunately, no. at this time, there is no way to use the keep offline, um, unfortunately. But on the plus side, you don't have to be connected uh, to the internet for very long to upload your world state. So yeah, if you go to the library, use the computer there, um, get free Wi-Fi, I don't know, steal, steal your, your neighbors. Steal your friend's phone. Yeah. yeah. Tether your phone, anything. You don't have to be online for very long, so yeah. Um, I guess this is kind of related to the other app question. Will there be a way to uh, make decisions offline in an app and then sync those up? No. No. This is a completely online experience. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Welcome um, to the digital will age. Will subtitles be added to the ISS? They are already there. Not, no, not. Not on production. No. Not on production, no. yeah. but, but they are, on they the are, development. They are coming, yes. yes. The development work is done. From where I see in the magical dev yeah. world, yeah. which is broken and shattered and contains nothing but broken promises. <laughs> That's a joke for you JavaScript guys. Um it's there. So it's coming down the pipe. It'll get to you guys eventually whenever releases happen. Or yeah. mm -hmm. They are coming. Yes, yeah. they are indeed coming. So for anyone that's hearing impaired or, you know, if it's late at night, you don't want to turn the volume up, subtitles will be there mm -hmm. in the future. Soon. Uh, oh, shoot. I had a question. a question on the chat and I totally missed it. Oh, a um, question oh. that I saw on the chat yeah. is, are there any plans to add any sort of music to keep. Wow, oh, that. well, speaking of, yeah. that's a very good segue. Okay, secret time, you guys. And, up. yep. Here is the keep with Music Player, which will be coming soon. And you'll be able to turn it off and on as you like. You can adjust the volume. Uh, you can adjust the volume of the clicky sounds. Um, it defaults to off. Yes. Yes. So you, if you don't want your internet making any noises, like us reasonable human beings and adults of the world, then you, we respect that. Well, to be fair, the music's pretty epic. Yeah, it is pretty good music. We are talking over it right now. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> makes us sound dramatic. All right. Yeah. Yes, so that is uh, forthcoming for a future update in the keep, so stay tuned. There's a little preview for you guys there. Hold um, on to your seats. Yes, and just another example of how we listen to your feedback. We've gotten a lot of feedback mm -hmm. about um, adding music to the keep, so just goes to show we do listen to you guys and we do take your suggestions seriously, and in the future you may see them show up in the keep. Yeah, and for the record, I fought tooth and nail to make sure that never happened. So your feedback is actually more powerful than our developers' sensibilities. Yep. So keep that in mind. You're in a very powerful position. Yeah, those of you guys who look up to Justin, really, you have more power than he yeah, does. You basically tell me what to do. Yeah, yeah. Dance, monkey, dance. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, okay. Last week, we also did some secrets. Yes, Is another secret for you guys this yeah. time. Uh, more romance tiles from Woo! Inquisition. Romance tiles. Yes. So, for those of you who want to ride the bull, <laughs> there you are. There he is in all his uh, mayhem and glory. And those of you who want to get Juicy with Josephine. Oh my god, that was so that was terrible. terrible. You should be ashamed <laughs> of yourself. I am so ashamed right now. I can't believe that actually came out of my mouth. It did. But yes, there's Josephine and the Iron Bull. Um, if you've been around on Twitter, you've seen the lovely Allegra Clark and Freddie Prince Jr., who are the voices of those characters, um, basically feuding about their respective sexiness. So it's up for you guys to decide. But personally, I think they both look pretty good. But yeah, grab the bull by the horns. <laughs> <laughs> you should never put me on camera ever. <laughs> I should always put you on camera. No. All right. Okay. So we hope you enjoyed our stream today, you guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in. 
we're going to say goodbye for this week. So uh, we'll see you again next Friday. So yep. thank you very much. Mm -hmm. We love you all. Hope you enjoyed it.